tell us about the spring migration that's going on now, Richard. Well, it's, like I said, it's, it's that time of year and the birds that typically uh, survive on insects for the most part of their diet, the warblers and all, they had moved down to Central South America and uh, at least or far south in the United States along the Gulf Coast. Those guys are coming back. A lot of the other birds are, are now coming back into the territory. They'll be moving to Georgia where we are and some will be moving on up to the uh, all the way up to Maine and, and Southern Canada, uh, depending on which bird. And uh, you'll start to see these birds that you haven't seen in a while, like some of the warblers, which are hard to recognize uh, for the most part to a lot of people, because we don't see them all the time. And there, a lot of people call them just little brown jobs. Maybe some of them have yellow, some of them have some orange, uh, and they don't come to feeders that much. Some of them do, but most of the warblers are, stay away from feeders, they eat mostly insects out in the wild. So it's just nice to see those guys come back in. And uh, of course, we, we do lose some birds, uh, some of the birds that will be down here, Siskin's a great example. Uh, they're not every year, but they'll move back north. And uh, in some cases, a lot of the goldfinches you'll see uh, come in more back in here. They uh, will move. Uh, they were down here for the wintertime. They'll move further north. So you might have fewer goldfinches around, but they'll still be in your area for breeding. Yeah, it's such a great time. Is there any particular bird that you like to watch them migrate or watch for the migration? You know, there is, and uh, it's one we, <laughs> I'd love to be able to get it, come to a feeder, but uh, sandhill cranes. Oh, uh, yeah. We're, we're fortunate in, in, the, in, the, in the Atlanta area that we're directly under a flyway, a major flyway for the eastern portion of Canada's sandhill crane population. And every year, it's almost like it's a harbinger of fall to come or winter to come and a harbinger of spring that's about here. Uh, the Sandhill Cranes headed south in, in the fall time, and I think it was two or three weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, uh, I heard uh, over a two or three day period, three, four, five, six different flocks uh, coming overhead. And they're so far up, it's hard to see them sometimes, but you can certainly hear them. That's what I see. Yes. Very loud. Yes. Yeah. You will hear them before you see them. Yeah. Absolutely. And, they and are Sometimes beautiful. I never see them. I just hear them. I know they're up there somewhere. And uh, they're so far out and so small, it's difficult to see them, but you can still hear those birds. Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching, and I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to share it.